Hi guys, so I read your, I read your request and uh, let's go ahead do another spicy problem. So uh, we are going to be solving a system of linear equations in three variables by using the elimination method. Okay, uh, so the directions use the elimination method to solve the system of equations. So it's this is, is we have to use the elimination method or else. Okay. So when we have a system in three variables, um, I'm expecting to see uh, three variables on each equation. As you can see, um, neither one of these equations have all three variables. But the fact that the variables are not lined up, like we don't have an X column, a Y column, and a Z column, that's really messing with my flow, okay? So with your permission, let's go ahead and rewrite it, okay? So uh, when we solve a system of equations um, by elimination, whether we have a system in two variables, or in this case, uh, three variables, <gasps> I've been a victim of cut and paste. It's, and when you cut and paste, it seems like you're saving time, but if you don't proofread it, yeah, these are the consequences, okay? So if we had a system of linear equations in two variables, and then we were asked to solve it by elimination, the first thing we need to do is uh, make sure that the equations are in standard form. So if we had a system in two variables, uh, standard form would look like ax plus by equals c. Okay, but if we have a system of equations in three variables, then standard form will look like ax plus by plus cz equals d. So like English, whether we have a system in two or three variables, standard form is code for variables on one side, constants on the other, and it would be nice if we had integer coefficients. Okay, so um, all of the all of these three equations on the left, they are in standard form. Variables on one side, constants on the other. But again, my speech, the fact that we don't have like the X, Y, and Z lined up is really messy with my flow. So let's do this. The first equation, um, there's nothing to line up because it's the first one. We have 2Y plus Z equals 7. The second equation, that doesn't look like a 7, okay? Uh, the second equation, we have an X column. Uh, we don't have one right now designated, but we know that X comes before Y. So we have X column minus Z. The question is, do you have to line up the terms? You do not. But again, if I don't, it's going to mess up with my eyes. The third equation has the X and Y terms. So I guess we put entries in the X and Y terms. So with that being said, how do we solve a, a system of equations in three variables by elimination? So let me go ahead and label this, these, uh, these equations. So we have one, two, three. So if all three equations had um, all three variables, then I would just say, oh, like which variable catches your eye? But in this case, we have some missing variables. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, identify which one is uh, missing. The first equation is missing the x one, so I'm just going to write a little love note, missing x, okay? So the gist behind solving a system of equations in three variables by elimination is to pair up equations and eliminate that same variable. Since the first equation is already missing the x, maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea just to say, um, let's um, try to eliminate the x. Looking at the second equation, it's also it's also missing a variable term, namely y. Okay, so I guess we have another nice choice. Since the second equation is missing the y term, maybe we could be like just kidding. Why don't we just decide to eliminate the y instead? The third equation also doesn't have all three variables. Uh, this one is missing the z. So again, um, our game plan is to pair up equations to eliminate the desired variable. But check it out, x is missing in the first equation. So maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to like eliminate x. y is missing from the second equation. So maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to just say, um, let's go ahead and eliminate y and same speech for the z. So in this case, it's pretty much like you, you flip a coin to see which one do you want. I'm going to go ahead focus on eliminating z. Why? Because not only is it missing, uh, not only is the z term missing from the third equation, if I pair up the top two, when we add them, it's going to cancel out. Okay, so let me put a little love note. Eliminate z. Okay. 
And from the other uh, uh, from the other examples that we knocked out, you know how I set this up. I'm gonna say pair these two equations and then pair these two equations. So we're gonna pair. I'm gonna say equations uh, one and two. So we have two y plus z is equal to seven, and then two x minus z equals three. Okay. Pair up equations to eliminate the desired variable. The next one, I'm going to feel weird writing the word pair, but I want to keep the wording consistent. So I'm supposed to say pair two more equations, but it's a lie. I'm not really pairing anything. So I'm going to write the word pair in, um, come see it in quotation marks. I'm going to say pair equation three. I'm not going to pair equation three with nothing because we are trying to eliminate the Z and the Z is already gone. So there's no need to pair it with anything else. Looking at the first pairing, uh, the coefficients on the z term are, are already opposite, so we have the green light to add the equation. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and add in a vertical column format, and when we do, that will leave us with 2x. 2y is positive, so plus 2y. The sum of the z's will give us 0, or we say it cancels, and that will leave us with 10. So bear in mind that we were trying to eliminate the z. The z is gone, so we're good. Our, our next pair, quote unquote, because I don't want to show you my face, the Z is already gone, so we're good. So uh, remember, to solve a system of equations uh, in three variables by elimination, our goal is to pair two equations, eliminate that variable, pair two more equations, eliminate that same variable, and then we're going to join our new systems to create a new system. Okay, so let's go ahead, uh, join our new equation. So let me just put a new system. That's how I speak. And we have the first equation is 2x plus 2y equals 10. And then we have x minus y equals 3. So at this point, you can solve by substitution or elimination. But I'm a little biased towards elimination, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, which variable should we eliminate? Uh, that's really a personal choice, but uh, this is how I do it. If I wanted to knock out the... If I wanted to uh, eliminate the x's, the least common multiple between 2 and 1 is 2, so I would need a positive 2 and a negative 2. If we wanted to eliminate the y's, the least common multiple between 1 and 2 is also 2. So pretty much, we have 2's on both ends. It's really a personal choice. I'm going to decide to eliminate the y uh, for the sheer fact that we already have a positive and a negative, so let's go ahead and do that. So love note type eliminate y okay something that i failed to point out is this once you create your new system your uh your uh now goal is to uh solve for whatever two variables you see in this system so in this case we see a x and a y so first goal find x and y and then you can think about finding the third variable which is z okay so um Coming back to the solution, so we wanted to eliminate y, the least common multiple between 1 and 2 is 2, so we want a, a positive 2 coefficient on one of the y's and the negative 2 coefficient on the other y, or if I'm using my math words, you want the coefficients to be opposite. If this is a nice problem, we would already have one of the two desired coefficients, and if it's not a nice problem, then we got to fix both. But lucky for us, we already have one of the desired coefficients, namely the positive 2. So we are going to work our magic on getting the negative 2. Last time I checked, to make this negative 1y look like a negative 2y, you're going to multiply it by 2. So let's do that. Let's take our time. Uh, please watch your arithmetic. Okay? When we distribute, oh, the, the top equation is perfect. So we have 2x plus 2y equals 10. The second equation, when we distribute the 2, product of 2 and x is 2x, product of 2 and negative y is negative 2y, and product of uh, 2 and 3 is 6. Okay. Before we are quick to add the equations, please confirm that the coefficients are indeed positive. So we had established that we had a positive 2y. Thanks to your hard work, we have a negative 2y. So now, because we have made sure that the coefficients are indeed opposite, let's go ahead and add the equations to eliminate the desired variable. Okay. Why do I circle the plus signs? Because I feel like it. that's why. Okay. It's, it's, I don't know. It's a force of habit. 
When we add the equations, the y's cancel out as expected, and that will leave us with 4x. 2x plus 2x is 4x, and the sum of the constants will, or the numbers will give us 16. At this point, it's like I'm crying because I see the end, the end of this problem. Okay, so to so finish it off, to get rid of the times 4, let's go ahead divide both sides by 4, and that will leave us with x equals 4, and let me go ahead highlight it. Okay, so remember, what was our uh, immediate new plan? Our new plan was to solve our new system. So we need to find x and y in any order of our liking, and then we can find z. Now that we know what x is, we need to find the other guy. So let me put a little love note. Find y. So to do that, we are going to substitute uh, a 4 for x into any equation that has a y. So for me, I, I'm going to focus my energy like on this new system, but I guess you could also look at the original system, but that's too much for me, okay? So which equation catches your eye? I don't know if I can read your mind, okay? Um, the, the bottom one catches my eye because the numbers are smaller, okay? So we have x minus y equals 3, and I need you to handle it however you can. Whenever I substitute a number for a variable, um, I have the habit of writing down what I'm going to plug in, okay? So in this case, the value of x is 4 because that came from our work. Work your magic to isolate that y. To get rid of the 4 that's being added to our term, let's go ahead and subtract it. And that will leave us with negative y equals negative 1, okay? For the grand finale, to get rid of the times negative 1, let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 1. And that will leave us with y equals 1. Fantastic. So we have a system in three variables, namely x, y, z. We got x and y, so we just need the third and final one, which is z. So let's go ahead and find z. We are going to pick... Oh, sorry, that's code for... Um, I should log into Zoom in a bit. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and find z. Okay, so to do that, we're going to pick any equation that has a z. Which one catches your eye? Which one scares me the least? Uh, they're all pretty ugly. Uh, I'll go with this uh, original second one. Okay, if you like the, the top one, go for it. Okay, so we have 2x minus z equals 3. Okay, and then we found x and y, but to find z, we only need reference to x. I'm just going to write the x value. If the equation we picked involved the y, then of course we write down the y value. So let's plug and check. So we have 2 times the value of x, which is 4, minus z equals 3. Take your time and breathe. Product of 2 and 4 is 8, so that will leave us with 8 minus z is equal to 3. For the almost grand finale, to isolate the z term, let's go ahead and uh, undo the 8 by subtracting it from both sides. And that will leave us with negative z equals negative 5. Fantastic. I haven't said that like in two seconds. To finish it off, to get rid of the times negative 1, let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 1. And that will leave us with, I'm going to start a, a, a new column. And that will leave us with z is equal to 5. Okay, so if this system had one solution, one uh, order triple, then the answer should be of the form, and the order triple should be of the form x, y, z. Okay, the value of x is 4, the value of y is 1, and the value of z is 5. Fantastic. So again, don't forget to put parentheses uh, uh, around the order triple because without the parentheses, it's not an order triple or a point. It's just like a list of numbers, like a grocery list. Okay, guys, that's my time. Until next time. Well, I got to zoom it.